Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use this AG Pro gateway uh, to Home Assistant by ZHA because this AG Pro that is wireless all-in-one so that will support the ESP32 and the ZigBee 3 module and the Tuya module so this video I will show you how to add this AG Pro uh, to Home Assistant by ZHA and you can see this is a server mini that is a Raspberry Pi uh, server uh, it's Kinkoni server mini version so I have installed the Home Assistant on this controller and this time uh, this ZigBee sensor uh, will work with this gateway and work with this Home Assistant at the same time and also you can use the Tuya controlling the IR and IF device at the same time because this gateway have the Tuya module inside okay let's look at how to download the firmware and the set for the Home Assistant to use ZHA and you can see this uh, details step in our form so that you can see the how to configure the task motor for AG Pro use ZHA in Home Assistant you can see at last we will use this ZHA because the ZHA add-on is very easy for user to use the ZigBee sensor okay let's step by step the first you just need to download the firmware of the task motor ZigBee bridge dot uh, bin file so you can click this one and you will see uh, this is the newest bin file and you can download from this web page official web page is better and also you can download the ESP flash uh, for Tasmota and at here and you can download uh, for Windows PC or for Mac OS just according to the computer operation system okay and the next uh, just set uh, for these two pins is very easy okay let's begin and the first you can connect use this USB cable and to my computer so that I can download the firmware I use the ESP flash tor at here and the third part that is auto detect and the browse this is being file uh, you can see this is being file I have already downloaded and just click flash ESP now we just wait for a moment okay this is 100% now it began work as a web service and the task motor will have this AP signal and you can log in by this address you can see the Windows PC and you will see this task motor signal this is AP Wi-Fi signal from the gateway I can click connect without any password and after you connect it and you can use this IP address uh, to log in to configure it so you can see I can import this IP address okay this is Tasmota web page we can let it become small okay the so first we need to set your load Wi-Fi SSID and password this is my office load signal and uh, import this password you need to in import the password and the SSID of your load and will be reboot and after reboot it will show you the new IP address because now the gateway is working in station mode not AP mode okay you can see this is a new IP address uh, for the gateway so you can click this one okay you can see this is a new IP address of Tasmota web page and we just need to configuration and configure the module and you can see at this photo so you can see I can change this GPIO32 uh, to TCP RX and this is changed to TCP TX at here okay this means the gateway is work as the TCP transmit click save and click main menu okay we can go go on you can see this is Tasmota we need to start the TCP server so we can input this command in console I can copy uh, this command TCP start 6688 this part you can prefer which part to input is up to you so you can see 
So you can see I click this console and the console and end this command just paste tcp start uh, 6688 enter and then you can see the tcp start have done that it began work also you can input any part uh, such as 6666 or 8888 it's up to you and the second you need to create a room that means every time the system reboot will auto start the tcp command if you not uh, enable this room so that every every time when power on you need to do this tcp start so it's very difficult so we can create this room in tasmota copy and paste it here and enter and you will see uh, this have saved uh, this room and the next you just need to enable this room one so you can copy this room one and add here paste and enter and you will see that row one state is on okay you can see the next uh, this is just a step one step two step three just this three command you can enter so the next will be very easy now you can open your home assistant web page you can see i can open this web page and open this home assistant dashboard and you will see now we can go to this setting and go to this device and click this add integration and search zha so that you can see the zigbee home automation you can click and click this one zigbee home automation and this you can choose this one and manually and the summit and this you need to choose the ZNP because we have used this this chip we have used so you click ZNP and the summit and the third pass you just you can see here at this step you just input this one socket slash slash this is IP address of your gateway so my gateway you can see here that is this IP address so I can copy and paste that here and add the port 6688 that we have used maybe you have used another part you have set and this not needed to change not needed to change and we can click submit and you will see uh, this information and keep this radio network setting we can just click this one okay now we'll be loading for the step for zigbee home automation and we can see uh, this our task motor you can see this logo console that have a connection from this from this uh, device that is raspberry pi okay you can see successfully okay we can click finish and now you can see the zigbee home automation add-on have list at here and you can click and maybe you will add a device add, add a sensor zigbee sensor you can click this one and this will search zigbee device and this time you can click this button for pair the zigbee signal go down and you can see the blue LED blink blink okay now you can see my computer that have list detect uh, the zigbee sensor you can see uh, the weather sensor you can choose which room to set up okay uh, this device is ready to use so this is very easy to add the zigbee sensor to the home assistant by zha and you can click this network and the groups and uh, uh, this one you can see uh, this zigbee device uh, that have added this zigbee device and click settings and click device we can see uh, this two device 
uh, that is Zigbee sensor, that is Zigbee gateway, and you can see the battery, 84%. Uh, so now this sensor can be used. Uh, you can see the humidity, the pressure, and the temperature. And this is the battery. And you can add it to the dashboard. You can see I can add it to the dashboard. Uh, maybe I have added to this home and click the next and add to dashboard and you can see here the overview and this is home and you will see that is the Xiaomi Zigbee sensor the signal have received and show that here so this is how to add this AG Pro to Home Assistant by ZHA so that you can use many different Zigbee sensors okay thanks for watching